So we all have the same 24 hours in the day and you know, working past, you know, working past being tired, that point of exhaustion really is, you know, many times the difference between you know, the, those who thrive, right? Those who really make things happen and those who really wish things would happen to them, right? You know, those who wish they had more, those who wish they could succeed, those who wish they could get more things done. Um, the difference really being uh, is, is the people who thrive actually take action. They implement their directions. They put a list down and they get things done. They find the time. So, you know, one of my, uh, with one of my partnerships that I've actually, I've, I've prioritized someone else's success and I basically provided them, you know, so much value for a period of time that I actually expected in return that uh, that person actually decided to, uh, to bring me on, you know, to bring me on board for their team to help keep the value rolling in, right? So many times people only work for cash and they don't see, they don't see that like they, it, it seems like they don't see the greater value um, in just providing free, like like in uh, like in you know Jan, uh, Vanderchuk's book, Jab 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 Right Hook. It's basically give 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 and then ask. Most people misinterpret that and think it's give 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 and then like try to take or re require, right? Um, you know, it's just it's one of those things where. If you utilize your free time, right, your free time, your available time, um, and and basically provide someone with, uh, you know, your skill set as a value proposition, they'll they'll come to realize that they need you on their team. Most likely, if you're hungry enough for the opportunity, give first and then ask later, or they'll propose it to you, right? The problem with that mindset of not providing free value on occasion, really, it's it's the employee mindset. And, uh, and ultimately does not help you build relationships, rapport, you know, either or with, with the people that you want to be connected with, that you're working with. You know, they know for a fact that, you know, if you're only there for a paycheck, at some point, you know, you're gonna leave them hanging high and dry. You know, you're, you're not gonna show any relative interest in their business, um, prospective future growth. You're not gonna have any real insight that's valuable to them. Um, if you're only hanging around for money, when the money dries up, you go away, you go find the next thing for money. And that's not like, one, that's the employee mindset, and two, really that's, that's um, you're not really being a team player, you're being, you know, paid. You're being paid to care. So, on one of the projects I've been working on recently, I've been really like, I've, had, I've heard a lot of excuses from various people, I'm trying to get like, LinkedIn to various networks. Uh, in regards to trying to get new, you know, like trying to get these new people on board with various ideas, um, you know, and how I'm, how I'm approaching it, implementation, strategy, and it's clear they're just trying to, you know, like dodge these ideas and have their various, uh, their various excuses, and you know, I just don't waste my, I just don't waste my time on these people. Like I don't waste my time. That's really like, if they're wasting my time and it's very obvious, they have to get back to me because I, I'm gonna go find somebody else who can do the same thing. I'm gonna go find other people who are hungry enough to get on board so we can get the project done, so we can get things rolling because, I mean, I, I don't have time to be nice. You know what I mean? I don't have time to hold everybody's hand, you know? And that's just one of those, that's just one of those aspects. Like, if you're making time for people who just don't care, go find new people, right? Go find someone who cares. Go find someone who's gonna help you get it done. Go find somebody who's gonna, you know, a, a team who's gonna help you achieve what you want. But if you're surrounded by people who are, you know, dragging their heels and they don't care nearly as much as yourself, go find other people. There's plenty of them out there. You've got, you know, like if you're in the States watching this, you got 300 million to choose from. If you're anywhere in the, in the rest of the world, you've got 7 billion other people to choose from. Go find somebody. There's a lot of them. You know, in um, between, you know, in sales and life and generally speaking, one of the most, uh, one of the most interesting studies is actually on uh, time management and it's not like, it's not super convoluted, right? You don't need a, a ton of self-help books to identify what it is to manage your own time. In this current point in time, people are really focused on like busy work, right? 
versus actually accomplishing tangible goals. You know, a lot of people are really like, they, uh, they share motivational crap with me and there's, there's a lot of like, you know, in f your motivation, show me your work. That's what I'm more interested in, right? When it comes to all this motivational crap, people are sharing things with me, people are, you know, just living their lives, busy work, they're not building anything, they're just living aloof, right? Living aloof and sharing motivational crap to get you through another five minutes, get that burst out. I mean, accomplishing tangible goals is not about, you know, from like just the short term, five minute, 10 minute, two hours, you're just really energized, got a Red Bull in your system. You know, it's, it's about the long term. You have to have tangible goals you're willing to work tirelessly to achieve. And you, you can never be happy. You have to be relentless. You know, you have to say, F everybody else, this is what I'm gonna do. I mean, I'm gonna get it done with or without you. And if I have to without you, I'm gonna find, and I need somebody who's gonna help me do it, I'm gonna find someone to replace you because you don't care enough to help me. So, F your motivation, show me your work. So I added a, um, I added actually a link to uh, Laura Vanderkamp. She did a, uh, a TED talk on time management and added a couple of, you know, I, I've, I, I could have added a couple of books that I burned through, not like actually burned, but like read through um, regarding time management skills. But to be like, to be honest with you, you know, time management doesn't require, um, it doesn't really require, you know, cutting corners. It doesn't require multitasking. Um, it doesn't require life hacks, you know, which by the way, is really is a joke if you, you know, cutting corners and life hacks are a joke if you value quality over quantity. Many people will only do work for money, right? Even the ones who are like had a passion and then they get stuck in a rut, right? They feel that their, their time must absolutely be compensated with monetary gain. They have to be paid for whatever they do. They go out of their way for their free time. They must be paid. They must be paid. Otherwise, their time is being absolutely wasted. You know, that's the employee mindset. We all have the same 24 hours of the day. And if you're an employee, more than likely, you know, you, you, you need to separate yourself value wise. You know, what makes you better than the next person? How are you separating yourself? Where are you investing your time? Are you sitting around on your ass watching TV when you could be, you know, learning a new skill or providing more value elsewhere? Like, what are you doing differently that makes you more valuable than the person next to you? Like, when it comes to a resume, they call these extracurriculars, right? What are you doing differently than the person next to you that makes you more valuable, that makes you worth it, right? So instead of giving a book list of like, you know, time, the, the time priority books I read that really don't teach you a whole lot or tell you a whole lot versus prioritize valuable things. There, that's the compromisation of like five books, right? Prioritize valuable things. You know, don't waste your time, utilize it properly versus your passions, not money, right? So, except one of the books I actually talked about focus on money. I think that person had something else in mind. But uh, Timothy Ferris, or Tim Ferris, Tools of Titans, right? Um, the, ten, the, the Ten Pillars of Wealth by Alex Becker. And right off the top of my head, I actually forgot the author of this one. Um, it's what your brain loves and why you should do the opposite and how your unconscious mind rules your behavior. Uh, Leonard Mladenow, Mlad I think it's Mladenow. Sorry, Leonard, I don't remember how to say your last name. I had heard it in passing, but I don't exactly remember. So, you know, with that being said, utilize your time properly. You know, don't waste it on busy work. Do whatever it is you need to do to chase back your passion. Don't waste your time. So with that being said, turn this off, go find something more valuable to do. <laughs> oh, shit.